Tobago, Tobago Trinidad. I am Watson Duke, political leader of the Progressive Democratic Patriots. Today is Monday, Monday, and every Monday you will be hearing from me as a political leader of the PDP as I hold the Tobago House of Assembly to account for the mandate it has been given by the people of Tobago. Last week, we saw three murders in three days. It has never been seen in the history of Tobago. Three murders in three days. The first murder, a young man working on the port on one of the ferry services was shot and killed in the back road in his vehicle. The second murder, the next day, a young man engaging in a game of um, cards or something like that effect, he was shot and killed in his vehicle. The third murder, <coughs> third murder was a family dispute over what reported to be a land issues. Three murders. What is the PDP crime plan? What was the mandate given to the Tobago executive? What was the mandate that Farley and friends spoke of in the year 2021? I dare you, let's look at crime. Crime is an issue found in the people's mandate. It can be found on page number seven. One of the things we mandated the assembly to do is to create an assembly law so that Tobago can have its own police service. Yes, we spoke about that on the platform. We have had many, many days in the Tobago House of Assembly and not one law has been brought to deal with Tobago's police. Yes, municipalities in Trinidad, Port of Spain Corporation, Santana Corporation, Arima Moro Corporation, Chagoanas Moro Corporation, they have their own municipal police. Yeah? Tobago, likewise, have decided that they would have created a Tobago Police Department with one of the assembly laws. It was first tried by Mr. Oval London under the PNM, and we have mandated the Tobago House of Assembly to go and get it done. To date, they have discussed all types of things within the Tobago House of Assembly, nothing about the Tobago Police Department. What would have been the role of the Tobago Police Department it would have been the role of localizing the police service, bringing the police service down to the commandant in the villages, that's right, in the bars. Policemen would have been more available, more accessible, and they would have provided a greater community level service. Yeah? So that's one of the crime plans. The other crime plan was to bring back the community comfort patrol and have them working with the TTPS. You know when the community comfort patrol, when they were working in Tobago, crime was only reduced because they would be the unarmed persons driving in the vehicles, just watching, observing, feeding back information to the police. We were supposed to re, well, reignite that policy, that passion for policing by having the community comfort patrol working with the TTPS. I want the Tobago House of Assembly to answer us, the Tobago Executive to answer us, my role is to speak for the public. As a political leader, my role is to keep Fali and friends honest. My role is to let the jellyfish gang know they must stop being spineless, stop being mindless, and start working for the people of Tobago. When you look at the Chief Secretary, you wonder if he's running for Tobago stop model. Nothing about the Tobago police, nothing about the return of the community comfort patrol, three murders in three days. It's something that has never been seen in Tobago. I cringe in my boots 
for that. Then there was also supposed to be the refurbishment of the magistrate court at Roxborough and one at Charleville. They were supposed to work with the judiciary. I want to call upon the chief jellyfish to find out whether or not any letter was written to the judiciary regarding the refurbishment of the Roxborough Magistrate Court and the Charleville Magistrate Court. And I will say, including that Scarborough Magistrate Court, we will hold you all to task. This isn't a game of walking up and down and posing and taking pictures and laughing. This isn't a high school game of this prefect. This is a game of our lives. Three persons lost their lives last week. It could have been prevented if there was a Tobago Police Department, if the Community Comfort Patrol was working, if the Roxborough Magistrate Court was refurbished, the Charleville Magistrate Court was refurbished, and if the police station at Scarborough was refurbished, and the prison was also refurbished. The prison is falling away into the sea, and many of our Tobagoans who are charged and who are incarcerated are made to go to Trinidad and mix with hardened criminals. So what is your plan? What is your plan, Chief Jellyfish, to deal with crime? It will take more than walking up and down calling words. You have to deal with crime. Governance is a serious business. And I don't care what people say outside either. Do keep quiet. What am I keeping quiet for? Is it because my party is in power? I will keep quiet. My party must perform. I grade myself very hard. I mark myself hard. This is why I'm always desirous of doing better every time. I will not sit down and allow the PDP who has placed a government in place to suffer because that government is a runaway train. But let's leave crime. So on the People's Monday, page 7, you will see the crime plan, get it. And I'll put it up on my Facebook page so you can look at the People's Monday. Let's hold them accountable, Monday, Monday. The next thing I'm going to deal with finally is flooding. Flooding in Scarborough. I've seen pictures, I've seen videos of Scarborough covered with water. And I'm wondering if Scarborough is now trying to mimic Port of Spain. Yeah? The difference between Scarborough and Port of Spain is that Scarborough has no marsh land. There are no wetlands in Scarborough. In Port of Spain, there are many wetlands. Ready runoff will be slow. But in Scarborough, it's right on the edge of the sea. And when the tide is low, all waters ought to flow in the sea. For years, Scarborough never flooded. However, today, Scarborough has flooded in several parts. What is the plan for Scarborough? Let's go to page 13 of the People's Mandate. It's there. It's not back and I'll talk. We are holding folly and friends accountable. The jellyfish crew, I call them, they are mindless, no brains, and they are spineless. Hear what they plan? That they will transform Scarborough into a city. Okay, nice. What's the plan? They say further they will develop an 18 point plan. I call upon the Chief Secretary Valley to tell us where is the 18 point plan. I call upon James to tell us where is the 18 point plan. Make it public. Let us see the plan. You all are joint public funds. Joint public funds. You all must be held accountable. Where is the 18 point plan? We gave you a mandate. You run with the mandate. You won the election that will sign the government. Govern according to the mandate. Where is the 18 point plan? In that 18 point plan, there will be the creation, recreation, building of several infrastructure building, redesign, etc. Things like a water park should have been in Scarborough. How far is the water park? One year has already collapsed. Three more years to go. Tell us where is the water park? James Park ought to be refurbished. What are your plans for refurbishing James Park? Is it a power wash James Park? Paint it up? What are you going to do differently? Low hanging fruits. You were supposed to have a new entry to the Botanics Garden. A new entry to the Botanics Garden. Currently, you can enter the Botanics Garden from Garden Side, yeah, toward Newell Highway, and along that one way street. 